Jody, my little princess. Oh, Ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. A little sad and lost, like the first time I saw you. You can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's that? I did. Oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. Did you tell anyone that I called you? No, of course not. Not even Nathan. <laughs> Wouldn't do me any good to be meeting up with a known felon now, would it? <laughs> and you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want. So. Have they made any progress on the infraworld? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser, the most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. What I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <laughs> On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. And the father? Did you learn anything about him? His name was Jonathan Nichols. He died before birth. Heart failure. That's all I could find. What else did you learn about her? Not much. All I know is that she took part in a DPA research program some 20 years back. She also had a gift. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. In a, in a mental hospital for 24 years. I mean, why? What happened? That's all the file said. I'm so sorry. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I could look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody, she's in a high security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's going to stop me from seeing her. Taken a huge risk helping me. Thank you, Cole. Hey.
You didn't think I was gonna let you go alone, did you? Empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in three minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait. I've come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Maybe we can go without authorization this time. I mean, maybe we can just come to some kind of an arrangement. I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Seventh floor, room 43. So far, so good. first. far away. Can see you, Aiden. <laughs> I can see you.
Bring him here, Aiden. Uh, Jesus. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? I found it, Jody. Good job. <laughs> Jody, I'm here. I'll wait here. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe you shouldn't go in. You won't be able to, Nora. Let us take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. My baby! Bring her back! I've changed my mind! I want my baby! It's a danger, quickly! Please! Get the baby out of here! She may Let develop some her. special abilities. Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Decrease the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
was my fault. so much, Jody. I missed you so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that. Sorry, Jody.
powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Nathan! Oh. <laughs> it's good to see you. I was afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. Oh, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. They just didn't want to give you a chance to use Aiden. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance, look. I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Where's Cole? He's at home, he's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. Did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you. Loved you. Tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. Help them? You want me to help the people that took away my mother and stole my life? I mean, haven't I done enough? We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them, and they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. Nathan, I'm so tired. Can we go now? 
Oh, jeez. Is that what time it is? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey, this morning I bought your book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read to you? Yes, please. <laughs> I must have left it in the other room. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here and then we can go, okay? Sure, I'm on it. <laughs> So, where did he leave that book? Stop it, Aiden. It's not funny. You found it. Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. <laughs> Jody. Jody, you okay? You look pale. She looks dead tired is how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her off to bed. Yes. Yes, hold on. Nathan, it's for you. Nathan Dawkins. Nathan? Nathan, what's up? My wife. Lord, that they were coming back from my mother's. Truck. Drunk driver. Wrong side of the road. They're dead. Jody, let's get you off to bed. And stay right here. I'll be right back. Come on, Jody. According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hailangjiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the Infoworld. That means they found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission, 
is to destroy this condenser and any other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Well, building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the infant world and to make sure that no one will try to use it against us. I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will. Team? Show them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Good luck. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're gonna find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the infra world yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. It's good to see you. For the mission's sake, try to keep Aiden from killing you. But no promises. Well, we're off to a great start. I grew tired of all this. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Of course, I will kill you regardless. But it could have been fast and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. So, I ask you one last time. Who do you work for? Aiden. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> 